Hi, I'm Tim Roble, and welcome to another episode of Adventure Athlete. Today is build day 24, and I've been busy. So going to, towards the front of the truck, anyone that's uh, following me on Instagram, I'm the same uh, name, uh, adventure.athlete. And uh, I post there pretty much every day just about what I've made for progress, but um, I have to go back and watch my previous videos just to remember where I left off. Um, so here we have the factory air cleaner. I was all set up with the Trax off-grid um, deal to run two Donaldsons. And I just want to talk a little bit about why I didn't do that, it went, why I went back to the factory air cleaner, but just located on the other side. So one, the factory air cleaner is going to cost me about two inches difference down low than the um, the aftermarket Donaldson's. This is actually a Donaldson also um, factory, um, the stock air cleaner for the uh, LMTVs. But um, as we start to go up, we're narrowing out and where I need to be kind of coming across is actually thinner than it would have been with the other filters. Some of the problems I was having with the other filters was the uh, uh, the boots. Um, ordered some stuff from Home Depot. I got some stuff that came with the kit. Um, the elbows and everything worked out well. I reused one of the elbows off of the kit uh, for this. Um, but basically I had to go in and cut and turn and make it uh, do a uh, 45 from where it was. So it's now a 90 degree going straight up and down. And it uh, worked out well. Everything went together real nice. Um, I have this area right there sleeved where the two clamps are. And then it goes from 5 inch and it reduces down to 4 where it goes into the, uh, into the truck. Um, I'm super happy with how everything uh, is going here. One of the big things that I'm always uh, fighting is trying to get parts in uh, to build. Um, I don't like my metal supply to, uh, to dwindle too little. Because um, as you can see, I knock some stuff out in uh, a short amount of time. Almost everything on this truck I'm doing mail order um, or having delivered to the house. Like the metal shows up at the house. The first, uh, actually this batch I had to go get. Uh, that's where the U-Haul was. Um, my 78-year-old neighbor, Jim, uh, comes over and helps me out from time to time. And I'll tell you what, he is just like a real, uh, he's a real deal. He's a... Uh, a car guy, um, super, uh, I'm gonna say motivated, and uh, you know, some of these pieces are super heavy. Uh, he helped me with this, uh, put these 20 footers in place, and I think those are 175 pounds each. And uh, he helped me get those in place. So thank you, Jim, so much. Uh, this rear section back here, he helped me out. And uh, this was no joke to kind of get in place. We did this with uh, a Jax and uh, held that in place. So we're up here, that's the uh, the tailgate. And then you can see I'm framed out. And how I did this is up top, see if this will capture on, uh, on video. So these are um, one inch shorter than eight footers. So four by eight sheets will come down and end up mid rail and attach with the U, uh, VHB, very high bond 3M tape. And then you can see here I'm dropped, dropped down, and this will be all storage compartment here. I don't think I'm going to stay at the 28 uh, foot marker. I think that'll probably more be more like 20 inches. Uh, I'm going to take this and um, move it over here. So this has got to be 28 to cover uh, the fuel tank. I'll probably come back just a little bit and then come up, maybe do a uh, angle for for break just for breakover. I don't think I'm going to be out just wheeling uh, this thing crazy, but if there is a case where I need to um, have a little bit more break over, and that's the in between your in between your wheels is called the break over. You have approach, departure, and then break over. So I'm a little worried about that. Although my rear stairs uh, sit down at the 28 inch level, that would be more of a drop off than a break over. So I think um, those will be 20 inch. I'll move that one forward, cut a couple 20 inches, and then frame all that in. So this whole bin under here will be under storage. Um, I got my new bolts in. And I ordered longer, and these are those uh, A325 structural bolts, and uh, three quarter by ten, and uh, they're two and a half inches long. So I physically have about 
Uh, about a thread and a half. Now, for aircraft industry, we always uh, would require two threads sticking out of any fastener, um, but I think that's going to be sufficient for what I'm doing. Uh, the plywood is going to be, um, as soon as I cut and fit all of that in, um, plywood is going to be rhino lined with a Herculiner, um, is actually the name of it. It's a roll on bed liner. I've used it several times before. I used it on the adventure truck. It holds up super well and it basically encapsulates the plywood. So the plywood is not, um, doesn't take on any moisture. Uh, this is a high grade. I'm not sure if it's a marine grade plywood or not, but it's a very high grade um, plywood, three quarter inch thick, four by 10 sheets. So up front, you can see we're gonna have to notch all of these in. So right now I'm trying to get this uh, today, um, which will be build day 24. I just uh, concluded 23 yesterday. And um, I'll, I'll come in here and notch uh, all of these pieces and get that set up and number them where they go. It should pretty much be a nominal plug-in, uh, except for the first sheet, which will be a little bit different. So as I'm framing this up, we can kind of see what's going on here is, um, you know, I'm on the corner here, but that's still not up against the cab. So after we get through the, uh, the Thanksgiving holiday, I'm gonna go out and see my dad and get back and then I'll, I'll be back to work uh, the Saturday after Thanksgiving, but uh, work on uh, framing out where I'm gonna cut um, the pass through. I think that's gonna be important. I wanna get that complete and finished. Uh, with the door that swings and locks, and then another door for the uh, cab that does the same thing, swing, swings and locks. So once I get through that, um, I can start framing all this in closer. Um, why I did this eight foot tall, and then you can see there, it's probably better to, to see like this angle. Um, it drops down to seven foot. So the interior height is gonna be um, right at seven feet, uh, minus three, three quarter for the, for the wood. Um, or whatever other flooring that I put on top of that. Um, but I did that because this is where the, uh, the bed, retractable bed, uh, I think it's called a happy jack. So that's gonna go up. I know that's gonna take about a foot of room with the uh, purple mattress king size that I have for it. Um, so as you enter the main living quarters, you'll look across and it'll just be a flat seven foot roof. And then the, um, the bed will uh, be nested up in there. And then when you bring the bed down, um, that'll work out a, a lot nicer. Um, either doing a 65 or 70 uh, inch TV. This right here is going to be a theater room below where the uh, the bed goes. And then I got to work on framing all of this in and make this tie in uh, nice. But that's kind of what I got going on, what I've uh, got completed. Um, I'm squaring all of these. With the uh, eight foot right here, that puts me at the top of that right there, puts me at 12 foot, six inches. So I'm one uh, foot under legal limit. And that's not gonna have anything other than solar panels on top of it. So that'll work out really well. Um, and then as I drop down, I'm doing a um, air conditioner. Uh, the domatic uh, air conditioner will be positioned in the seven foot. So that'll kind of take up some of that one foot space. So that'll be at the 12 foot at the top of the air conditioner also. Then I'm putting a satellite dish and um, finishing up the solar uh, and a wee boost on a uh, on an arm. But long story short, um, got all this stuff in my head. Um, I do have from Tracks Off Grid. I do have the uh, mini split coming, so this is going to have two ACs in it. And depending on how tough that is to um, frame in, I think it's going to go up in this uh, this area here where we got the extra room up against uh, the cab that'll give it. Um, east-west flow on the uh, on the condenser fans down below the cab so nothing's going to be hammered with uh, anything uh, as far as wind spinning fans or anything as we're going down the road. Um, I am programmed to put in three max air fans. Um, nothing is going to go on the top here in the, uh, the living quarters other than some windows on each side for pass-through air and uh, we're just going to have to rely upon um, uh, getting air in and across versus up and out because I really don't want to be any taller than 12'6", uh, 12'8". 12 12 um, although we have 13'6 to play with, I don't want it. I don't want this giant tall thing. Um, so all of that will be done here. Uh, coming back right here, we're going to start the, uh, the kitchen. So that will be the uh, stove and right above the stove will be a Max Air fan. 
Um, right above the booth here will be a Max Air fan, and then in the bathroom will be a Max Air fan. So uh, we'll have that all set up. And then, uh, of course, the garage starts, uh, 13 uh, feet of garage in the back. And then I'm going to have some big open, um, won't be windows, but there'll be open uh, panels. Um, probably somewhere in the range of like 28 by 48. And uh, I'll do that so we have cross flow. Um, I'm doing that right over here with the booth also. Um, just that stuff is coming to mind. But uh, what we've got knocked out is we got the air cleaner. That's done complete. Um, I'm, I have squared all of these. I still have a little bit of trimming to do on a couple of these to get the cap. You can, um, I'm not doing 45s because I find 45s um, tough to work with and, and have accuracy. So I'm doing a notch with like a cap on the top. And you can see how I had to notch that one to get everything square in there. So everything on that panel right there is square and that's important because the four by eight sheets are square. And I just plan on just putting the, uh, the tape on, the uh, very high bond tape, shooting some screws in it, and then having that done. So paneling this thing should go uh, in a day or two, the whole whole box, maybe three days total. Um, so I gotta trim that, and then I'll work on this top cap, and then I'm gonna get all this framed in and make sure all of that is square. And then um, this runner right here will, will tie in, and then that will carry all the way back. Now I did, um, well, there's our little kitty on the roof. I did um, do a little bit of um, modification back here. The side-by-side -side is not going inside. Um, that was gonna put my spare tires at 108, which I think legally you could still kind of get away with that. And uh, I read the law and it's like appendages that stick out like mirrors and ladders. And you know, I don't know if spare tires is part of that. Driving down the road um, to my dad's, I decided that's that's not going to be a player for me. So the spare tires are going to be at 102, which put my interest at 67. Um, I made the call, you know, I'm putting this huge toolbox inside the uh, inside the truck, and then I got uh, the KTM uh, 1290. I'll probably take my 450 with me on on most trips, and then I got the E Motion electric motion trials bike. Um, got another uh, mountain bike or two that's going to go in for me and the wife and then uh, we just got uh, Chiron's which uh, stay tuned for the video on that um, so I'm gonna have a full box anyway um, you know with this thing taking up the space um, once again I'm working out of this everything I use out of this box is uh, specific for the truck so all of the equipment here is Milwaukee um, you can take a look in the garage I have the uh, Makita, and I also have the uh, the Lowe's, I uh, can't remember the name brand of that anymore, but uh, I use the Lowe's um, brand also. But uh, in this truck will be all Milwaukee, easy to track. Everything I kind of have uh, going in there is going to be red. Um, as I said, um, some of the problem I've had with uh, the build of this truck is getting parts in um, as quick as possible. I want to give a shout out to Bryce out there. Um, He's the one that did the highway gears and I hit him up and I said, hey man, I need some lug nuts, lugs and lug nuts for this, uh, hanging the spare tires and everything. And uh, he shipped this the next day. Um, he's out on the road doing his thing, but um, for me, it's very rare that you get somebody that um, is ex uh, expedites your, your process. So getting those in, starting to lay stuff out on that, um, getting ready to go into this Thanksgiving break. Um, which honestly I could probably use. I, I went and did uh, two days out in the desert for a trials weekend. That was uh, phenomenal. I feel uh, restored and remember why I want to build this thing. Uh, I want to spend more time out on the road. Um, but yeah, shout out to Bryce on, on getting those out to me. Um, super, super awesome. Um, I use a uh, Chase Amazon points card and I uh, gather up points and you know, with this, um, Everything that I've been buying for the truck is coming, like I said, mail order. So I was able to order the uh, ARB, which is what I have on the other truck. And it's kind of flipped over. But this is the aluminum cased one, just like I have on the adventure truck. And I was able to order that and basically uh, pay for it with my points. So you want to call that free or not? I don't know. But for me, that was a nice come up to be able to have that. Um, as I'm looking across the way, we can see the uh, the shed is full of uh, 
of parts and everything ready to go. So I just about have everything except for um, two more orders of metal. One will be siding, another one will be the rest of the tube to finish everything up. And uh, I'm waiting on Black Friday sales for a uh, TV. I'm looking at between 65 and 70 inch. Um, either one of those will be a great choice. You know, you're only going to be sitting um, about six feet where your head will be um, away from the TV. So, like, it doesn't have to be crazy. But I want a theater experience in this. So, you can tell we are full to the max. I mean, it's time to get this thing framed up and start getting stuff into the truck. As um, soon as I have the floors done and some of the siding on this toolbox, I'm going to uh, wheel up the ramp and get it loaded inside just to make some room in here. And anything that I can put inside the truck that I don't have to uh, move around um, is, is wonderful. Just get it up and get it, uh, get it in place. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, the theater seating is in. Um, it'll be shipped here probably next week. Um, really, really nice stuff. So I'll uh, inspect that and then uh, go from go from there. Anyway, um, another shout out to my um, granddaughter Aubrey. Uh, thank you guys for watching the uh, the videos. I know you're um, appreciating it. Uh, Jeremy, Sierra, and uh, Mackenzie. Great for you guys to watch the videos. I love that you guys are staying up with it. Thank you guys for watching. And um, for the others, um, there's so many of you guys that are commenting and uh, just keeping me driven and going. And um, please keep uh, commenting, giving me the thumbs up. I really do appreciate you guys. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm Tim Rubble, and I'll catch you here next time.